Mike Deutsch, Slinging Birdies, I'm gonna be opening up a barrage of boxes. That makes no sense. It's just a pile, a stack, a haul. It's Mailbox Monday, and let's get started. What we got here is, I saw this on Facebook, I saw an ad, one of those micro adjustable belts. You know I like that if you watch the show. I don't like to have to poke in the holes. I like belts that are micro adjustable on the back with those tracking systems. Anyway, this one is called Anson Belt and Buckle and we're gonna see what it looks like. Comes in a neat package. I'm gonna be using today a retro Victorinox knife. Um, I believe that is a three incher. Is that correct, three inches, guys? All right, I'm gonna cut her open, okay? Ow, ow. This should be fast forwarded, because... Don't, don't cut towards you, Mike. Oh, yeah. Never cut toward you, cut down like that, one side. Sometimes I forget the fundamentals of cutting. Anyway, let's, let's, let's see what we got here. Ooh, what do we call that again? It's like a nice monogrammed A for Anson. It's like a fancy wedding invitation. You open her up, ooh, what do we got here? We got uno, dos, tres. I think they're like maybe two buckles on belt. They got these packages on Anson belt and buckle. By the way, while you're, um, while I'm doing that, you may want to focus on just the obvious tips of what's what. Just in case you've never seen one of these belts, this style. So we're going to open one up. Nice presentation. Got to open up this pouch. Pull her out, see what she looks like. Ooh, what do we got here? Look at that buckle. You got the dimples, the little dimples, the dimples of the golf ball here for the golf lifestyle that we live. And um, black on the back, black leather on the back, it's fabric on the outside. Smart looking belt. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna right size it. So let's look at the back to show you the quality of the belt too. Latch system and everything. Typically you're gonna wanna pull this down, pull it out. Now you're gonna wanna cut this side of the belt to right size it because if you cut on this side, then you're gonna break the latching system, it's gonna be a useless belt. So how do I know what size, I don't know why I choked up there guys, how do I know what size this belt is? I gotta look at a previous belt. So I have a belt handy, this is one I wear all the time, and this is gonna be the right size. So I'm gonna compare the size. <laughs> okay, pro tip guys, you're gonna to wanna to measure it this way, but flip it this way. And the reason for that is you're not gonna accidentally cut the tracking side when you measure it. So again, you don't have to be exact, guys. Your waistline is a moving thing. So generally, it's gonna be two inches longer, but if you wanna go through the hassle of using uh, two inches longer in your waistline. So if you're like a 34, you're gonna want a 36 inch belt. If you're 36, you're gonna want a 38 inch belt. The easier way is find a belt that fits you. Finger, let go. Make sure I'm not cutting the wrong side. What's that line in um, carpentry? Measure twice, cut once? I don't know, I don't remember. You tell me. It's, it's a popular one, it will come to me. If you're concerned, oh, did I move my finger? Then, then you can go close to the end so that you won't worry about it being the wrong size. I'm pretty confident this will do it. Doesn't have to be completely flat. This will work. Find my buckle. Okay. I'm gonna insert the buckle in and those teeth are gonna grab it. See those teeth? When I flip it, nice and snug. Now let's see if it worked. First of all, is this as long as this? Close enough, it'll fit. Sometimes there's more room in the belt buckle, so it's not gonna be the same, but um, let's put it on. Again, I want this to be like probably six times the speed. You don't wanna see me putting on a belt. <laughs> okay. Good, I can tell right away, you got the right size. It's gonna just go in there and then you feel that ratcheting system getting the micro adjustments. This got a really nice toggle on this one too, if you're going out or in. So you go to um, Duck Donuts, who I'll hashtag, and um, you just ate there, you're gonna wanna loosen your belt. You went for a run, you may have lost a little bit of weight, you're gonna wanna tighten it by micro adjustments. 
So these micro adjustments, fantastic. Anyway, let's just comment on the style of this belt. Um, fantastic, the golf belt, nice style. I like the, uh, the non-leather side actually a lot. Anson, belt and buckle. Let's see if we got that name right. Anson, belt and buckle, it's a charm. Look them up, they sell belts in packages so you get three for a good price. Um, you get mix up the belts and the buckles, uh, and you can have yourself a belt wardrobe for your belt um, hanger or whatever you want to call it. Um, just take a quick look at another belt they gave us. I believe it's going to be the same buckle, but they have lots of different options. There's tons, and yeah, this is just going to be in black this time. So I got the silver. And this is in black. I think if you're going to choose between the golf style ones, I like the silver better. Black is nice too, but just not my personal cup of tea. Silver, like it better. All right, that's it, guys. Um, cut golf balls briefly. If you're still watching this video, most of you probably have tuned out because that was like atrocious. But if you're still watching, you can win this sleeve of cut golf balls just once opened for the show. And um, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, hashtag balls and whatever else, and I will pick a random winner and you'll get the sleeve of cut golf balls. Random winner, chicken dinner, Monday mailbag. We got a box here, it's brown. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I'm pretty sure it is going to be something to do with Clemson University. Let's see what it is though. All right. Oh yeah, we, this is a mystery. The mystery is building. We got cardboard, cardboard. I think I know. I think this is a piece of sports memorabilia. What do we got here? Ooh, we got uh, Deshaun Watson. Yes, sir, indeedy. Deshaun Watson. Um, not actual size, so let's pull out the real deal. The picture sometimes makes it look bigger. This is from the Bobblehead Hall of Fame. They do uh, real collectible people into the bobbleheads, sit them on your desk. And here's the big reveal, Deshaun Watson. We saw it there, what does it look like? Let's start with the behind angle. And turn them this way. And look, they got that nice collar at the bobblehead off and they don't want you to bobble and bobble in the box. And there he goes, let's, let's have him bobble around. Thank you guys at the um, Bobblehead Hall of Fame. We'll have their website underneath if you want to check out their uh, wares. They got lots of cool stuff. It's actually a really neat bobblehead, a lot of detail in there. This is uh, from their, indicating their championships, striking a nice victory pose, Deshaun Watson. So we got one Clemson Tiger. And let's see who's in box number two. Bet you can guess it's another Clemson Tiger, most likely. But this one's coming in this kind of box, so it's more of a surprise. Open it up. And it is. El Jefe, the uh, coach himself, Dabo Sweeney. Got a little styrofoam peanuts. We're making a real mess here on the uh, practice screen. We're gonna have to clean this up. Dabo. Hey, Dabo. Yeah, what's going on, man? Hey, you mind if I just take one snap and then like, but make sure I'm not gonna get tackled? Yeah, sure beans. Sounds good to me. All right, so we got Dabo and we got Deshaun Watson. In bobbleability, I gotta give it to Dabo though. He seems to be moving his head more. So, and now he's saying no, he can, he can go both ways. He can say no and yes. That's what I like in a bobblehead. But just in the, the Deshaun Watson's more impressive. I like the base, um, both nice, but Deshaun Watson is, is a nicer figure, nicer bobbling head on the uh, Dabo. Any Clemson fan watching? You may want to get your hands on one of these puppies. Whenever you get a priority mail, you know they mean business. Now, I happen to know who this one's from because they mentioned it was coming the day before and they wanted to know how it fits, so I know it's clothing. It's one of my favorite golf companies. One, two, three, the reveal, Galvin Green. But we never had one of their shirts. We've had their jackets before and we've never had one of their shirts. You know, Galvin Green is known for their waterproof technology and their absolute coolness. Galvin Green on the side. Look at the back of it. it looks like almost like their their jacket styles with that like 
I don't know what you'd call that, like it's a nice swooping pattern. It's unique for a golf shirt. Well, they have shirts too, Galvin Green. They're not just about the jacket. They're not just about the rainwear, the shishi rainwear. They also make cool shirts. Probably should wear this on my uh, Whistler trip coming up. Galvin Green, you know I like my teal, my blue. This is like Panthers colors, Carolina Panthers. Um, thank you guys. This one will get some wear. It's got that green ventil system. That's what they're going. I mean, all these um, non-cotton shirts have something going on, but this is their uh, ventilate. Get it? Ventil eight. Ventilate. So sweat wicking. You know the drill. But it's Galvin Green, and they make quality stuff. What else we got? We got. What do you think we got? <laughs> we got the birdie box. Oh okay. yeah, birdie box. Golf lifestyle in a box. The master box, best for last maybe, we'll see. I think it is gonna be. Pull her open. Yeah, we got a letter. From, um, I'm gonna read it. It's asking about our 4th of July weekend. Okay. I like my jerky. And I like uh, jerky that, so what kind of jerky is this actually? Real pork jerky, premium pork. I'll eat it. 15 grams of protein. I like the low sodium. A lot of jerky has like 700. This is 450 grams of, uh, milligrams, sorry, of sodium. Um, 110 calories per serving. And it's one serving per container, so that's easy. I like that, so you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes you get sodium overload because it says like 600, but that's like four servings per package. This, you can eat the whole package, know what you got. Oh yeah, what we got here? We got a nice brush from Frogger. Frogger is a pretty groovy company. Nice club brush, keep my gl clubs sparkling. You know it, because spin is hard to do with dirty clubs. I've said it before, I've said it again. Um, this is a replaceable brush. Your brush goes bad, you put a new thing on. Frogger's got a nice grip, that's what they're known for. So we got, we got an interesting box this time. We've got some jerky, we got a brush, and I was gonna do the tiered de force, but I like the, what we got here, Thomas Peters, now, you don't see the face though, so imagine that, making the cover of Golf Digest and you don't see your face though. So I mean, like, is that golf? Is, we don't even know if that's him. Anyway, this sol it said Solid Strikes by Thomas Peters. He's the uh, Belgian number one, right? The top Belgian golfer. It's short forms, Golf Digest is getting cooler. It's a great toilet read, I like to keep it by my bathroom. So we got three interesting things, and here, Red Vanley. Never heard of this company in my life, but I'm intrigued. I don't know if it, what this is. Is it just like a t-shirt? It's not a collared shirt, so... You know what? Let's get out our knife, or like our scissors here, and slice her open. See what she looks like. Okay. A little red and white. It's a Canadian theme. Red Vanley, made in the USA. It's got a little... Not just a nice shirt. I don't know if this is a sleep shirt or... Just regular summer shirt. Oh, hey. Feels nice. Is this cotton? What's this made out of? Can't tell you. <laughs> um, maybe it says here. It's, it's moisture wicking, but it doesn't feel like a moisture wicking. It has a real natural feel, and I guess that's this um, fresh guard. Well, that's odor control, but I guess that's this tensile. It feels really soft. So, yeah. Hey, feel that? Tell me what you think. Not like your typical sweat waking, right? Not, not as abrasive, comfortable. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to be a rebel, uh, you want to be uh, collarless, you can golf with this too. But I think I just wear this on my day to day. I, I like the styles. Good uh, shirt for Canada today, which is July 1st, people. Next year you can wear this, Red Vanley. Now, I, I noticed her name is Red Vanley, so I wonder if they make other colors. I'm sure they do, it's just the name. So we're gonna check them up, see, learn some more about this company and tell you about it maybe some other time or you tell me about it if you know about them. Anyway, this is a great box binge, Mailbag Monday. We saw a lot of products. I'm gonna mention the products in the description if you want more information about them or more information about yourself because sometimes you can learn about yourself by reading. Reading is important, read. Mike Doy, Sling Birdies, ow. That was seriously a bug on my face. So bug off guys, later.